Okay, here we are again, back in the Master System Quick Play Factory with an absolute belter of a game, a game that I loved on the Mega Drive again. The 1990 arcade release, Alien Storm, which was later ported to the Mega Drive and Master System in 1992, I can't remember something like that. Um, this is actually, I think it was earlier than that, 1991 maybe. This is actually a pretty good port. As you can see, the graphics, you can choose the android or the bloke with the red jumpsuit and the massive gun. Graphics aren't that dissimilar from the Mega Drive version. I mean, the only thing which really sets uh, European Master System games Aside in many cases is the music because it's not FM. If you were if you're in Japan and you had a Mark III with FM sound, then sometimes it would be hard to distinguish. Other times it would be piss easy. Oh, what are these little blobs? They look like they've just crawled out of Burger King or something. Okay, we've got all the usual monsters. These little <laughs> little strange otter blob things. It's like a sedate. Streets of Rage, but with strange creatures carrying bins on their back and a massive gun on your back. It looks a bit like the Super Soaker 5000. Whoa! 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 He's spitting things. Bit of splite, splite, splite flicker, sprite flicker. There. <laughs> they look a bit more friendly in the Master System version than the Mega Drive. I remember a lot more menace, and they just look. It looks like something out of a Nintendo game at the moment. Hello. Hello, you. You rolling turd, rolling that. These look like they're from an, uh, an aqua park. They look like they're some sort of flotation device. Look at the picture of my bloke down the bottom. He looks like Elvis. My god, he's even got the collar. He looks cool, doesn't he? Hey, look, these, are, <laughs> these look like they're straight out of aqua, an aqua park. Oh, we're going in. We're, oh, this is going to be what, the shooting range zone. Yep, yeah, this is where we. Oh, look at my god. It's going to blast your face off. Destroy some. Baked beans! Come on, this is a good conversion. It's got all the pieces like this, like the Mega Drive version has. It hasn't missed out loads of crap. And you can even blast the cans. Oh, yes! I love smashing supermarkets up. That's what I do in my spare time. This would actually make a pretty good go game in itself with the light phaser accessory. But I don't think it was ever the case. And I don't think you can play this version with the Light Phaser. Although the Master System had some quite good games for the Light Phaser. Better than Duck Hunt. And... whatever. Do you remember the, uh, the, <laughs> the Mega Drive one? What was that called? The Mega Blaster? And the... <laughs> because Sega released the Super Scope, didn't they? To try and make it look a bit more crazy. Some massive piece of plastic on your shoulder. You could play Yoshi's Island or whatever. Yoshi's racing, shooting device game on it. And Mega Sega thought, ah, oh, we'll do that. We'll release something which looks a bit scopey. But theirs could be broken down into smaller guns as well, which was quite a good feature. And look at that, that is very alien esque. And I remember playing Terminator uh, game on it, which is pretty good. But that was about it. And then you just shoved it away and probably sold it. I love how he gets a bazooka out of his back to destroy these little blobs. You're going, you're going to die. Yeah, look, these are very alien, aren't they? If you have a look at the cover art for this game, it's just a Geiger, Giga, Giga, it's Giga, isn't it? Rip off, through and through, go. So in this game, button two is to roll like an absolute pro. Button. They're very imp. It's like impish aliens. Hello, you little guy. So cute. Yeah, button one rolls. Uh, no, button two rolls. Button one fires with a variety of weapons. Uh, being limited by the Sega's two-button system, that is pretty much all you have. You can pause the game like so, and you can fire, and you can roll. Can't jump. But then, if you're carrying a massive proton pack like that, you probably wouldn't be able to anyway, would you? Did I die? Oh, no, I died. 
Time to kick some mutant ass! Some pepperoni slivering along the street. Oh yeah, tiny aliens. I hate it. Tiny aliens are gonna be kicked to death. I, uh, I was trying to do a Duke Nukem thing there, but no, it sounded more like some... Oh, I was very, I was very, very drunk. Some posh drunkard, I think. I'm not really sure. I'm still ill. I don't know what's going on. No idea what's happening. I'm half asleep. It's what day is? I don't even know what day it is. Right. I'm gonna get you, man. I'm gonna get you. I think it was doing that Matrix video the other day. It made my brain go crazy. I don't know what's happening anymore in my life. Just like this guy. He's walking around the streets with a gun. Just shooting alien bastards. I want to go in the museum! What's in the museum? Can I get them while they're still bins? Probably not. No. Oh, you're so fluffy and... You, come here! I want to shoot the people! Why can't you ever shoot the people? You couldn't do it in Golden Axe either. You know, when you went to the village and all those women and children came running towards you, you, try, you always try to take a swipe at them, but you couldn't ever do it. But then when you ha you can do it in some games, you feel bad. And you think, oh, I wish I hadn't done that. Well, sometimes, sometimes you just don't care. Because you remember it's a game. Subway! Yeah, I'd like a foot long, please. Look at that sprite flicker. It's intense. Intense. Not intense. It's extreme sprite flicker. Yeah, so this is, um... Oh, we're going in. This is very similar to the Mega Drive version. Ah, uh, version... Even this! This is straight out of the Mega Drive version. They have not omitted a single thing. The aliens aren't quite as big. The music's a bit crapper. The controls are slightly more sluggish, but it's... Good. It's a very good Master System game. Just like Battletoads was a very good game on the NES. Surprisingly good. The graphics on Battletoads were amazing for the NES. It was just rock hard. This is much easier, but it's got a good difficulty curve. It's got a good rolling action. All in all, a 100% successful game. And he can kick as well. It's even got the go icon. You cannot fault this game further than you can fault a piece of bread and butter. But, I fear my quick play must draw to a close soon because it's the weekend and I've got some serious partying to do with my games consoles. On that note, goodbye. Enjoy your weekend. See you next week. Oh, um, I might get this Sega video I've been talking about done over the weekend. Maybe. We'll see what happens next week. Toodaloo.